Howdy y'all, Pleasant E-Biker here. It is an incredibly windy day here at the mighty Minneapolis of Marnie. Check out the trees are howling over there. The wind's just a blowing like mad. Took this little hot rod out for a spin. I've got about 30 miles on it today, but about 200 miles on it yesterday. This thing is a king of the windy day. I tell you what, the winds are uh, 25 mile an hour and gusty. And uh, this thing just ate up the road. I did a bunch of interstate with it. It, it just performed beautifully. I love it. This bike and I are gonna do really well together. Stuff. Uh, our goal today is to, we were supposed to ride a Vincent today here at Baxter's, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's just too windy. Secondary goal is to check out a, uh, or that 835, 865 uh, infield build that they're doing. We're gonna check that out today. That ought to be neat. Anyway, let's go in and see what we got. Wahoo. Hey, we've made our way into the uh, secret back room at Baxter Cycle. These are all magic British bikes. Hey, that's a Japanese triple over yonder. But what we're here to look at is this one real quick. Um, I did a little bit of a video on this. I was supposed to ride this today, but it's just too terribly windy out there. But look at this here. I wanted, I didn't really get a close look at this. And I want to know how that works. Ah, I see this one ties up and this one goes through. So this one, the cable probably pulls through. And this one, it's, it's a fixed cable. That makes sense. That makes sense. You see what I mean right there? Uh, the other thing I found out about was these, these Conan, Con, uh, there's a Coney shock in the middle, and then these are actually springs, they're inside of these housings, and uh, there's a guy on uh, YouTube, The Mighty Garage, if you want to know anything about a Vincent, The Mighty Garage, he's from Oregon, he does a really good job of uh, videoing the, what he's doing, and he talks, unlike me, he talks sparingly, and when he does talk, he does a really good job, I mean, it, you, you get a lot of information in a few words. Just going to wander over this way to this uh, Kawasaki H2 two-stroke. Uh, my buddy and I were talking about this. So here's the throttle, of course. The throttle goes to the carburetors, but it also runs at oil pump, apparently. So the oil pump injection is uh, equal to what the need is of the carburetors. And we were talking about that under this cover, we believe there's a little adjuster there, so you can adjust how much oil per twist you get, you know, for the amount of twist. Kickstart only. Amazingly simple motor, you know, it's kind of a flathead design there. There's nothing in the heads but the well, but the spark plug actually the Triple styles, you know, we were thinking what would make this look better besides my name on the title uh, Well chrome expansion chambers a neat paint job <laughs> We were also talking about We grew up with these kind of bikes he and I and we were also talking about how They ran great when they ran the rest of the time. They were total nightmares you had to keep working on them and they were all you know they were kind of junk that the brakes were terrible the suspensions were weak the uh, whole thing just kind of but when they ran boy did they run what a machine what a machine hey look what i found sitting right here this is another baxter custom works bike check out the the wheels and oh well, okay it's a royal infield interceptor 650 parallel twin air cooled oil cooled single overhead cam you know the bit four valves per cylinder but it's got a lot of little extras to it it's a brand new bike of course the really, okay, look at the color of the tank. That's a custom deal there. And they've got the gold stripe here. They've got the gold wheels. They've got this kind of black seat to match the top of the tank. The white lettering to match this. Just, uh, these are Bon Bon uh, covers here on the side, heat protectors. Uh, I think these were Bon Bon as well, the fenders. These uh, JD Custom blinkers. Jumping up a little ways, we've got these Royal Enfield mirrors. I like that. Oh, look at this. That's a nice touch. I've seen that on other bikes. They've been doing that lately. SNS pipes, Royal Enfield uh, spools for your uh, lifts at home. Very nice, very nice. So one of the bikes I wanted to look at here today was, was this one, and our, our hope, my hope was that the tank would be in. Again, this is the 835 kit. It's got the 835 uh, cylinders, the high compression, 11 to 1 compression uh, SNS pistons. It's got this Revelry racing head. Absolutely amazing. They ported it all out. It's got the big valves, the heavy-duty springs. It's got this 40 millimeter Revelry intake system on there absolutely amazing of course again i've ridden a bike with that before and it, it just popped just bang and then it's got the sns cams in here and then of course it's got this sns qualifier muffler and what i always do when i show these is check that out <laughs> it's just insanely large all in suspension on the back k-tech for the fronts you know adjustable and uh progressive springs all that neat stuff i think anyway uh these special i think they were michelin tires my eyes can't read in the dark here, but uh, there's some sort of really nifty tire. Maybe I can read the back one. Metzler, they're Metzlers. Really neat tread on there. Isn't that neat? Slightly wider. It's got this uh, MK Design uh, chain guard on the back. This is from an Interceptor. This bike started out as a Continental GT. 
this it's going to be a it's going to act like a interceptor but it's going to have a Continental GT tank this is off an interceptor it's got these uh, tech uh, foot pegs they put uh, interceptor style bars on there Raytheon Raytheon Ray Renthal bars these nifty built well grips the special adjustable clutch lever you can adjust the throw here with this lever here isn't that neat and then over in this side they did the same thing with the brake uh, this is a Magura and uh, I think the rate is adjustable how much you know for how much squeeze how much effect you get and then uh, it's also got adjustable uh, throw right here and this is kind of cool how it does that isn't it look at that headlight holder the big crown chrome bucket the shorty fender uh, I think they put an LED bulb in there also. Anyway, a work in progress. This is an MK design. This, I love showing this. <laughs> and the seat is also an MK design. Very interesting for this bike. And by the way, here's the ignition back here. Isn't that neat? Jump to the front. Brembo, the squiggly caliper. Everybody knows the squiggly caliper is better. Brembo caliper on the front. Isn't that neat? Wahoo, wahoo, I like it. Hey, that was a nifty little tour of Baxter Cycle. I am sweating in all this winter gear. I'm gonna hop on the old hot rod and see what else we can find. Wahoo! Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker here. It's a little uh, after 11 o'clock in the morning. It's about 100 miles away from home. There's the beautiful Lus Hills over yonder. We are here at Lus Hills, Harley Davidson. Uh, what a ride, what a ride. Super windy, lots of twisty, blowing around, and all kinds of neat stuff. Anyway, the bike is working great. The uh, starting to really become one with. Hey, let's go inside and see what there is. Hey, look at this M8. This is a, oh, they had to bore the case out. If you look at the marks here, so they could put uh, 153 cubic inch cylinders in it. Yeah. Xtel. Yeah, they used to be out of Des Moines. Oh, I'll be. Then, uh, look at yeah, that. Really, really heavy. How big is that? That's 4.6 bore. 4.6. What's yep. the stock bore? 3.9. Grief. 3.9 stock, and that's a 4.6. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Hey, look at this thing. A thing of beauty. He said probably Weiss. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're you made by Weiss. Look at the size of that thing. Is this a stock wow. piston yep. over here, Doug? No, that's Check it out. So this is Teflon, right? Yeah, well, it's uh, like there can be some sort of slick. Basically, thing, like right? Teflon. Sometimes they do a coating called graffle or a Teflon. Yeah, it's just it's a coating. Is this an three ring? Look at that. Mm -hmm. And then I had I had them drill those out for me. What are those for? Those are called gas porting um oh wow gas ports the yeah difference in right? size right is that an 88 or uh this is a 103 that's a, one that's a 103 yeah okay <laughs> so this is the head that goes on it i'm not going to lift it up or anything but uh check that out maybe we'll peek under it crazy crazy so this is a drag bike frame the whole frame weighs i think he said 38 pounds maybe it was 28 pounds back wheel front wheel new street glide the new road glide. Check that out. The new CBO with the 121 and variable timing. Oh, sorry, what was that? Y'all know how I love trikes. Check this one out. Tri glide. 114. I love the paint. It's, I don't know what this is called, but it's black, the pinstripe, and then the normal color. Absolutely gorgeous. This thing is loaded. This is my kind of thing. Got all the chrome on it. I'm a chrome pipe guy. Look at those wheels. Wow, that was a lot of fun. That uh, 153 cubic inch M8 that they're building, that's that's going to be a monster. Absolutely amazing. Again, Harley-Davidson, Lus Hills, Harley-Davidson, LusHillsHD.com. Now let's hop on this hot rod and go for a ride. Wahoo! Just got back from 220 miles of riding. Check it out. <laughs> Left here this morning, it was uh, blustery, cold in the 40s. And it just started raining a little bit ago. Not, you know, maybe a mile or two ago. So I just got a little bit of rain. Uh, I was able to spin the tire. I mean, I tried to spin the tire going up the hill. <laughs> anyway, the bike's got a little bit of water on it. Boy, this thing has just been a ball. I've got about uh, almost 3,900 miles on it. Did about 700, almost 800 miles so far this week. I don't know if I'll get it out tomorrow or not. It's supposed to be in the 40s tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, the handlebars are wide. And it's got a light front end with this uh, inverted fork and all that neat stuff. And it just handles so well. You got, you know, a real windy day today. You got lots of leverage because of the wide bars. And uh, it, it just did so well. And the, extra, you know, the bike's a little heavy. It's got a little heavy on the back end. So it stayed put really well. It just, 
I really liked riding it. I just really enjoy this bike. It's a good highway bike. I did a did a big four corner. Did a all the way to Marnie from here. I'm, I live in Ottawa. All the way to Marnie, over to Lust Hills. That's about 100 miles down there. And then uh, east up, up to uh, I think it's Corning, and up to Anita and <laughs> all these little towns. You know, you guys know where that is. But big square. Let's just let's just say that. And uh, just uh, got home right right in time for the rain to start. What a good riding motorcycle. It just eats that road up and the seat's comfortable. You know, the windshield works excellent, by the way. Here's my helmet. I did catch a little wetness on that, didn't I? Oh man, what a great day to be alive. Great motorcycle to ride. Friends, if you can get out and ride, get out and ride. Life is good. Wahoo.